you're walking on the beach, the sun is coming down, giving you a nice warm glow, and you're gazing out into the Pacific Ocean. That's the feeling we want you to have when you're wearing a piece from our exotic line, Pacific Style. To get that feeling, we need great jewelry. Buyer Brittany Waring shares how we create that feeling with Pacific Style. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us on In The Know. Thanks for having me. So to start off, let's talk about the line itself. How did Pacific Style begin? This brand, we wanted to bring our customers um, kind of to a, a resort. It really started strand heavy um, because we use a lot of jadeite, coral, pearls, um, which are kind of naturally beaded stones. So we kind of let our customers guide us on where to go with this brand. They wanted rings and all the different product types. This brand is kind of motif driven um, with dragonflies and the beachy themes, the dragonflies. The customers love, you know, the love, the meaning of that, um, meaning new beginnings, uh, a transformation. So, you know, some of our customers are going through that and they want jewelry that represents that. And so this brand, that. yes, yeah. feels that for them. and. It's just really beautiful and it kind of takes you somewhere. I, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. Where do some of the inspirations come from? Do you get them from movies, from pictures? I'm always looking for, you know, inspiration wherever I can. Um, a lot of it, it comes from magazines. Um, I like to see what our customers are wearing, what they're buying. And I really just, you know, take it back to the beach and where what stones are there. Um, it's really inspired by the stones, the natural origin of these stones. I mean, they come they're from coming the from the water. How does designing for this line differ from other collections because you are using such unique materials and gemstones? Well, in this brand, you know, we don't use a lot of faceted stones. We're using, you know, stones that are coming from the ocean. All of these <laughs> stones are jadeite, coral, abalone, pearls. You kind of get what you get. <laughs> yes, and then the faceted stones we do use are to accent these beautiful stones. And in these stones, we get a lot of natural freeform looks. So you'll get a big look. To really put the focus yeah, on the material Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot different from what you would see in a calibrated stone set perfectly in a setting. It's really wonderful, it's just so different. And more focused on kind of, we've got this uh, material or gemstone or shell, mm -hmm. how can we use it to create mm -hmm. a design around it? Right. Mm -hmm. So in terms of buying, I would guess that would change things a little bit as well because it's gonna be, I don't know, but I would guess that there's gonna be different sources given you know, abalone and maybe topaz don't come from the same place. Yeah. <laughs> How does that change? Well, for we have a team? lot of great vendors that specialize in the certain stones and, you know, they are so great and helpful and they can give us the best that we can to give our customers. You know, we that's what we strive for is to give the customer the best that we can. There is one purse done in Pacific mm -hmm. style, which I think is really inspiring. We don't do a lot of items outside of jewelry. Mm -hmm. What are the plans for some non-jewelry items? So this purse took me a really long time to get right. I wanted it to be perfect for our customers. Can you describe um, it for a second just for so in case people it's seen it? a rattan round purse um, with a long strap and has very um, beachy. Yes, a wonderful zipper. It opens up really wide. You can fit a ton of stuff in there. Um, you know, it took me about a year to get right. And wow. um, I'm always working on non-jewelry items. So you'll kind of have to watch the Pacific Style brand <laughs> to see what's coming next. Very nice. I love it. And it just recently, it, was, it came in about a month ago, mm -hmm. about a month ago. How exciting. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check out the purse. It's very fun and mm -hmm. the perfect summer accessory, I will say. So last question, mm -hmm. always got to ask for our new customers out there, what would you recommend as a first purchase for Pacific Style? Which I think is a kind of hard question for this line because it's so diverse. Yes, um, I would choose an abalone piece. Um, this stone is like so magical. It, the colors that move through it, mm -hmm. It really can work with whatever you're wearing. It just pulls the colors that you're wearing. 
And it's an opening price point for this brand, so it's a great place to start. And to me, it's an incredible gemstone because yeah. it's untreated, so what you're seeing and is... And this is what you can see in those free forms. Mm -hmm. and Used to be traded as a currency, I read somewhere, so... Yeah, you know, me and my fun facts. Anyways, well, thank you, Brittany, for joining us. And thank you for tuning in as well. Tune in for another episode of In the Know next week.